Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and esteemed colleagues, I'm Dr. Nigar, your host for this event, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the second OncoConnect Global Symposium. Today, we have the privilege of hosting a remarkable guest, Dr. Vidya Kolu, who will delve in the topic of current advances in managing triple negative and locally advanced breast cancer. Dr. Kolu is a hematology and oncology specialist in the Genesis Health System in the United States, actively empowering both physicians and patients in cancer care. She continues to share her expertise and insights through her website as well, Cancer Conversations MD. Her dedication to advancing cancer care is truly commendable. Welcome, Dr. Kolu. The stage is yours. Uh, thank you, Dr. Nigar. I'm glad to be uh, able to speak for the MedSynapse Onco Symposium. And I'm sure you all are going to love the learning uh, that goes on here as part of this multi-day symposium. And I'll get started with sharing my screen here. Uh, so as Dr. Nigar introduced, I'm going to be talking on current advances in management of triple negative and locally advanced breast cancer. As we all know, it's one of the most common cancers in women and can be a serious threat uh, uh, causing like a lot of morbidity and mortality. And this presentation aims to explore current advances in the management of triple negative and locally advanced breast cancer. Uh, and before we go into the details of uh, uh, the current advances, I would like to cover some basics here. So uh, it's important to understand what these cancers mean, right? As most of you know, triple negative breast cancers, uh, they are like ER, PR, and HER2 negative, and they do not respond to hormonal therapy, and hence it's mainly treated with other I means like radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and surgery as mainstay of treatments, depending on the stage and uh, presentation. Whereas locally advanced breast cancers are, the, are those cancers that has grown into the surrounding tissues or lymph nodes, where well, that is, they have gone beyond where they have started, like it has gone beyond the breast and has spread beyond the breast. So uh, we have come afar all uh, along in the process of management of breast cancer over the past uh, many years. And, and the main key advances in the management of breast cancer involve genetic testing. And this comes with the ability to, uh, to identify specific genetic mutations in breast cancer cells, which can help tailor treatments to the individual. And this has been a major uh, advance. And the other key advance that uh, impacts a day-to-day -day practice is the uh, use of immunotherapy, which is a promising approach that uses the body's own immune system to fight cancer cells and is improving uh, over, uh, very, uh, like survival in many patients with especially triple negative breast cancer. And the other advance, um, as we all know, is the sentinel lymph node biopsy, which is a surgical procedure that uh, helps determine whether cancer has spread to the lymph nodes and with the sentinel lymph node being the first lymph node in the path of drainage from the breast. Um, and this is an advance in the surgical speciality. Uh, and coming to, so the main challenges in the treatment of triple negative and locally advanced breast cancer has been the mainly the aggressive nature of triple negative breast cancers. And uh, it is very aggressive and can spread quickly to other parts of the body. And it's important to make sure it's identified and um, treated appropriately so that we can have better outcomes. And, and the other uh, key challenge is the resistance to treatment. So uh, uh, they are like notoriously difficult to treat and they usually have high rates of recurrence. Uh, and we need to be aware of this aspect uh, and having our eyes open to like, you know, any uh, uh, progression or relapse uh, after initial treatments and be open for next lines of treatment, given that there is a lot of resistance to treatment in these settings. 
And the other major uh, challenge, especially that patient face, is the quality of life. Uh, and the side effects of treatment can have, have a significant impact on the mental and emotional well-being of patients, especially uh, uh, in their lifespan, having to go through various lines and different kinds of treatment over the course of their journey, uh, even if they have started, say, with the early stage breast cancer, uh, especially for the triple negative ones. Uh, so as we look at the innovative treatment approaches and technologies in breast cancer management that we have had over the many years. Uh, one of the ones we which we have discussed briefly is the gene genetic testing. And uh, the ge a genetic test that identifies mutation in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes uh, that increase the risk of developing breast cancer has been like uh, a major uh, uh, treatment changer and uh, has made a huge strides in affecting uh, the management of breast cancer. Uh, and the other advances in other specialties, not just in medical oncology, but the one being one in radiation oncology being the gamma knife radiosurgery. It's a type of radiation therapy that uses highly focused beams of radiation to treat cancer cells without damaging surrounding tissues. And the other technology that is still uh, under development is the use of nanoparticles the, uh, that uh, uses uh, to, uh, to deliver drugs directly to cancer cells, minimizing damage to healthy cells. And this has been a huge uh, 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 advance, especially uh, when it comes to managing with the newer uh, chemotherapy modalities, uh, especially for the triple negative breast cancers. Uh, and coming to, uh, in general, what are some of the evidence-based recommendations for management of triple negative and locally advanced breast cancer? I'm not going to be going to the details, but in general, uh, screening still plays an important role and uh, early detection is key and screening mammograms should be conducted regularly to detect any warning signs. And uh, this cannot be overemphasized how important screening is in management of uh, breast cancers and especially for triple negative. Uh, uh, the key is early detection so that you get them, cut them at an early stage so that you have various choices to manage it. And the other uh, recommendation is for the aggressive treatment. And the treatment should be aggressive and comprehensive, including radiation, chemotherapy, and combination with immunotherapy if it's a triple negative and surgery. And follow-up care is also important, especially the surveillance that goes on after a patient completes uh, their treatment. And it's imp uh, important that they are on a, a regular surveillance with uh, regular examinations and as well as uh, imaging as per the guidelines to monitor for any signs of recurrence. And NCC has like good uh, resources on uh, getting this uh, follow-up care uh, appropriately. And there are various programs uh, that in which it can be done like with all various survivorship programs that are often to, offered to breast cancer patients. And coming to the uh, emerging trends in diagnosis and treatment of breast cancer uh, uh, and it's kind of falls, falls in an overall realm of how medicine is being directed now and especially the cancer care. One of the things is the AI-based diagnosis. As we all know, artificial intelligence is taking huge rights in various uh, fields and, not, uh, and the same in medicine and especially in oncology. Uh, so the use of artificial intelligence to interpret mammograms uh, to improve the accuracy of breast cancer diagnosis is an emerging trend that is being worked on and looked at. Uh, and the other trend has been the personalized treatment. We have uh, a long gone uh, into personalized treatment options, especially we have seen this so much in the lung cancer recently, and that is also kind of um, percolating into uh, even the management of breast cancer and where treatments are tailored to the individual based on genetic testing and other factors. And the other important trend are uh, like as we are seeing in the lung cancer is the liquid biopsy, a non-invasive test that uses blood samples to detect cancer cells and monitor treatment effectiveness. Uh, so uh, overall, I would like to conclude say, uh, saying that uh, uh, the landscape of breast cancer management is rapidly changing with new advances and technologies uh, making their way into clinical practice. 
Uh, while there are still changes, challenges to be faced, the future is bright for patients and healthcare providers alike with more and more newer treatment options that are coming along the way. And I feel very optimistic to be practicing in this uh, day and age uh, and with, where we have a lot of better treatment options for patients and much more hope to offer. And I thank you all for your time and attention today. Uh, and uh, I wish you a more happy learning and uh, a good time uh, attending the Onco Symposium. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Kolu, for your wonderful and informative presentation on managing triple negative and locally advanced breast cancer. Thank you so much for your time and for your expertise in this wonderful topic today. Oh, thank you, Dr. Nigar, for the opportunity. Uh, and I would uh, like to take any questions uh, on this, uh, any uh, specific questions on the topic we have discussed. Yes, definitely. So we have two questions that I would like to present to you from our audience who are fellow medical professionals who are more eager to learn on this topic. So the first question is, could you please elaborate more on the latest advances in managing the triple negative and locally advanced breast cancer? And how can these advances improve the patient outcomes? Certainly. Um, and there have been uh, many advances, as uh, we know, with each um, uh, national conference that we attend. Uh, there is so much uh, information that is coming along the way to manage uh, breast cancers, uh, especially the triple negatives. But the major ones being the immunotherapy, right? So immunotherapy drugs like checkpoint inhibitors have shown promise in treating uh, triple negative breast cancer by targeting specific proteins on cancer cells and helping the immune system recognize and attack them. And this has made a major strides even in the management of like uh, uh, the local, the advanced uh, triple negative breast cancers where uh, we are using this in the new adjuvant setting uh, and uh, uh, and also uh, like they're being used in the more advanced setting as well. So that has been a major uh, advance uh, when it comes to immunotherapy. And coming to the other drugs like PARP inhibitors, that is a poly ADP ribose polymerase inhibitors have been used in patients with BRCA mutations, which are more common in triple negative breast cancer. These drugs interfere with DNA repair mechanisms, as we all know, in the cancer cells, and thereby help uh, manage triple negative breast cancers in patients with BRCA mutations. Uh, and also, uh, the precision medicine has been a major advance, and advances in genomic profiling enable personalized treatment plans based on unique genetic makeup of a patient's tumor. And this is especially important in the further lines after the initial lines when, you know, there is a relapse or recurrence of the triple negative breast cancer. Um, and as we talked briefly about the new adjuvant uh, use of immunotherapy, uh, like there are uh, various uh, new adjuvant regimens that are, uh, you know, being used, uh, especially uh, before surgery to shrink tumors, making surgery more effective and improving overall outcomes. So that's, uh, I would say, in brief, uh, are some of the advances in managing triple negative breast cancer. Yep. Thank you so much, Dr. Kolo, for providing us with an answer to the question. Now, we also have the second question from our audience. Um, the question is, could you please discuss the potential challenges and opportunities in the management of locally advanced breast cancer? Yeah. And first, I would like to add, especially managing locally advanced breast cancer is so rewarding as an oncologist. Uh, and also, it's uh, such a uh, an opportunity to make sure we are having good outcomes um, in patients with locally advanced breast cancer. And the main challenge being uh, that uh, it's usually typically diagnosed at a more advanced stage, uh, making it harder to treat, but that's where comes the opportunity, right? Uh, and there are usually limited surgical options, and that's where the medical uh, oncology options become more important. In some cases, extensive tumor growth may limit the feasibility of breast conserving surgery, leading to mastectomy. Um, and uh, usually uh, the challenge is... Uh, come around in the form of like the uh, aggressive treatments that are needed in the form of chemotherapy and radiation, which can have significant side effects. Uh, but we have come a long way with all the supportive managements 
uh, that are available, like all the supportive cares to manage those side effects. And the bigger um, uh, challenge is mainly the psychological impact it has on patients. Patients may face emotional and psychological challenges due to the severity of the disease and always like, you know, about uh, the fear of the unknown and the uncertainty associated uh, with the diagnosis. And coming to the opportunities, uh, it's very important uh, in the locally advanced breast cancer uh, to have a multidisciplinary approach where a team of specialists, including the surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, radiologists, collaborate to create comprehensive treatment plans along with support from the other ancillary team like genetics and other uh, healthcare teams. And, uh, and there are various advancements in radiation therapy like targeted radiation techniques like intensity modulated radiation therapy, IMRT, uh, reduced damage to the healthy tissues. And there are various clinical trials that are going on and participation in clinical trials can provide access to cutting edge treatments and therapies. So that's an opportunity. And other opportunity being improved supportive care, as we discussed briefly, uh, uh, th these strategies help manage side effects and improve quality of life for patients. And advances in cancer research continue to offer hope for better outcomes in managing even triple negative and locally advanced breast cancer. Patients should work closely with the healthcare team to explore the most suitable treatment options based on their specific condition and the latest medical advancements um, and, uh, and partner along with the healthcare team for better outcomes. So, and thank you for those questions. So, yeah. Dr. Kalu, a big thank you for your answers and for sharing your valuable insights with us. Thank you once again for your contributions to our second Global OncoConnect Symposium today. I'm glad to be here and uh, I'm looking forward to learning all that I could from uh, the Onco Symposium and it's exciting to meet with other uh, like-minded professionals across the globe and thank you. Thank you.